I think typically the the usual response is a little bit of maybe a little bit of shock yeah maybe a little bit of confusion um, it's usually something along the lines of so you work for an oil company and you work for conservation uh-huh how does that work uh-huh. <laughs> we've been married oh uh, we've been married uh, for two and a half years she's learned about oil production mm -hmm. and and my side of things just as I have on on the environmental side and on the conservation side so when I first came to Seneca I was struck by kind of the goals that they set forth for us as a new employee entering the field okay. what they told me is we have three goals here we have the safety of ourselves and of our personnel we have the protection of the environment that we work in, uh -huh. and then we have the production of this resource, which the whole world needs. Uh -huh. You know, there is only a couple places in the entire world uh -huh. where this species exists, right. you know, where they're still in the wild. And the fact that we get to work in an area um, that is one of those areas, it, it, it's a privilege. Yeah. You've got the location fencing, you've got the equipment guarding, you've got the bird deterrence, you've got the posting, the signage. You can scour this pad, you'll, you'll not find a, a piece of trash or a bit of produced fluid, you know, anywhere on this location. So condors are obligate soarers, so they require, um, you know, certain wind patterns to be able to fly. I mean, they're of nine and a half foot wingspans. They're 20 pound birds. They have to think really seriously about the places that they land. Um, so what they like to do is they actually like to land on the edge of of places, you know, the edge of cliffs, on on perched, you know, certain types of trees where they perch, um, and they'll actually land on the berms, what are called the berms of these pads, okay. and um, the fences actually just deter the condor from walking onto the pad because they wouldn't want to just land on the pad themselves right. because there's not a good wind pattern for them to be able to take off afterwards. Yeah. If there was a serious threat to a very endangered bird, I mean, that could threaten operations, but neither Fish and Wildlife Service nor Seneca obviously wanted that to happen. Uh, so they came up with this simple solution that ended up solving you know, what could potentially be a pretty big conflict. Right. It's because we are adjacent to a national wildlife refuge, because we have all these environmental, you know, basically like microscopes on us uh -huh. here, and we really have to produce oil in a very specific way. Mm -hmm. um, our production has the least environmental impact of any oil production anywhere in the world. We have to produce in the cleanest possible way that we can. Uh -huh.